Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to 2022 baby. I'm very excited to be back but I have to admit this feels so weird. I'm not used to a sit down video anymore. Like vlogs feel a lot more natural. But then anyway, speaking of vlogs, my vlogmas experience was so awesome. It was way more than I thought it could be just because vlogging every single day really got me acquainted to speaking to the camera freely and it was it was really nice to just be able to take you guys along a journey that was like December and just sharing random thoughts with you guys also I didn't feel nearly as anxious as I thought I would feel because of the everyday vlogging like I really enjoyed it I actually missed it when it was over but now sit down videos are weird then I feel formal do you know what I mean like but anyways so it's 2022 and I'm gonna continue just as I was doing towards the end of 2021 and my goals for this year YouTubically it is to remain consistent it is to be vulnerable there will be some videos that are really vulnerable and you know the weirdest thing happened during december Oganye, it's more awkward than weird okay somehow my family got a hold of my youtube channel so yes they knew i had something called a youtube channel but they didn't have they didn't have an understanding of what that that was by family, I mean the older family, like all my Gazi and all my Lume and all that jazz, right? Until someone, somewhere, showed them a video of mine and then it became a whole thing. Let me tell you, I'd be minding my business, walking in Lumi Epai and then BAM! Next thing I'm hearing is my theme song and I'm like, what is going on? And everybody seemed to enjoy it. Like, they'd be like, can you just, can you guys, can you kids please put on that YouTube thing that Sino has? And it was so awkward listening to myself and having my family listening to me talk. Only because I do get very vulnerable on my videos. And I take my videos as though I'm having a chat with a friend of mine. Now imagine your uncle eavesdropping on your conversation with your friend. Not cool. It really is not cool. So this year... I think the biggest challenge would be the fact that I will know at the back of my head that family members are watching this. But I don't want it to make me filter or censor myself. I want to be as authentic and as vulnerable as possible. And to be quite honest, my YouTube, ch my YouTube channel is serving as some kind of a video diary for me. Because it also forces me, when I'm planning out a video, it forces me to align my thoughts, to work out my thoughts. I hope that makes sense like and also to be able to write them down and saying them out loud is actually so therapeutic so i don't want to stop doing that and i also believe that if i if i don't come with the most real voice then i might not um then i shouldn't have a youtube channel in any ways because what is it for who am i trying to read to connect with and relate to if i'm not going to be my truest self moving on so that's like one of my biggest things um and also because i enjoyed vlogmas so much i realized that i liked making vlogs as well as editing vlogs so i will then post a vlog for every last thursday of every month so it's just going to be a thing you know like a january vlog a february vlog speaking of the january vlog it has it has already started and today i actually got my first jab and i got that um on tape and it's going to be part of my january vlog so do look out for that but then anyways i don't want this video to be too long i hope me rides i hope me again i hope I'm a plan as to what's gonna happen this year. I hope you guys have your goals put together and this will be a year of growth, of shining, of blooming and hope you guys remember that this is still a channel of kindness, being kind to yourself and being kind to others. See you guys on Thursday.